I've been in private practice for about three years now, and I just absolutely love it. But, you know, in therapy, there's a mindset that the person is, is broken. <laughs> And, and so our, our goal is to alleviate the symptoms of depression. Well, isn't that just, boy, it really makes me want to go to therapy, doesn't it? So I thought, wow, you know, last year I said, can't we do better than that? Can't we do better than just alleviating the symptoms of depression? So because that's not what people want. What people want is to be happy. And so I started on this quest, I picked up a book, uh, and I'm going to give you a reference sheet at the end of the class that will have all of the different books that I'm going to mention. Uh, but the book that really changed the direction for me was called The How of Happiness. And there's a lot of books out there uh, that is absolutely bar none the best to get. So uh, I'll be touching on that book quite often throughout the talk. So in my own quest, you know, here I was, I, I'm a therapist, pretty well-adjusted guy, pretty happy, though, you know, I, I, when I originally picked up the book, it was with it in mind to, to help my clients. But I myself, there's a self-test in the book, so I took the self-test, and I retested in November, and lo and behold, I was happier. And I retested again in April, and lo and behold, I'm even more happy. So uh, that is one of the payoffs. You know, Holly Ann mentioned that I, that I do this for free. That is true when you're speaking of money, but when you're talking about what Tal Ben-Shahar calls the ultimate currency, I'm being very well paid, very well paid. I love this. 